not sure this is a ring, but it sure looks like one. So this park might have given me another ring. I'm not sure until I get the dirt out of it. Looking pretty good. Yeah, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and this is a quick roundup of today's hunt. Uh, as you know, I've gone going back out to the park. The park has given me. Uh, I've actually got an accurate count this time. Uh, it's given me uh, three silver rings and the and the uh, the platinum and gold ring, and uh, the platinum gold ring and uh, the uh, and two of those four rings uh, were in this area around uh, this uh, ball field of baseball diamond, etc. So, I. Now, I'm doing something that I don't always do. In fact, I rarely do. And but, you know, it's it's just that I, this place has shown it's it's get it's given it's given me things. Uh by the way, I also in that same area I found a junk ring. And I believe this is also a ring. Now, it's an it's iron, but it's beveled. Uh you know, I don't know of a plumbing fitting or anything else that would be that smooth and beveled so I'm thinking this was a ring that may have been plated or coated with something else uh, at some point um, it came up in the in the 70 range but it, it's rusty so it's iron so I'm, I believe I picked up the halo around it and that was what was giving me the good reading now that I've got it cleaned off I put a little vinegar salt in there and I also uh, uh, you know just rubbed some of the rust off and now I'm getting a pure iron grunt so uh, I'm going to put this in a questionable pile it may be a ring it may not but I'm not comfortable in saying it is you know even with the evidence I've got in any case I went out to, and uh, this time uh, I keep using this term as farming uh, I guess you should call it uh, mining uh, pull tabs and that's what I'm doing this this is a junky 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 area but in the junkiest part of this area is where I found that platinum ring so that's telling and we're on the horns of a dilemma those of us who do a lot of who are whose main focus is jewelry hunting all of our focus is jewelry hunting potentially if we can find it but uh, you have to do an effort to reward calculation Unfortunately, the jury we like, even that gold and platinum ring came in the high end of the junk range, uh, you know, 69 or 70. So I very could have easily passed that off as another pull tab, etc. It was just my good fortune to find a, a, a signal that very a little bit from the ones that were around it, and I picked it out and went for it. But you know, most of the time we're going to be dealing with things in the pull tab range. And that was in the pull tab range, to the truth, you know, right at the edge of the pull tab range. So, I would not be doing this to this degree, but this park has given me a motivation to do so. Now, it doesn't mean there's going to be another ring. I could be doing these pull tabs another two or three days and find nothing. I'm not going to do this eternally. I'm going to do this for a while. And I probably, with, the, with these pull tabs I've got here, I'm sure I've removed... 50 60 pull tabs from that area and it's still plenty there and one of those signals might not be a pull tab so I'm gonna go back again and do a little bit more uh, a little bit more pull tab forming or or uh, or square tab forming so you know and these were these were signals you know these these bottle caps rusty bottle caps were of course giving me a very high signal which thought, which gave me an idea it might be a coin or silver this was also but it was a broken signal rusty I, I, I knew that when I dug it, but I dug it anyway. This is another rusty cap. I got a high signal from this. And some of the newer caps, I'm getting uh, like zinc signals, uh, you know, and, and these were all in the 60, 70 ranges. So, you know, I had to go out and give it a good check. And uh, I did. And I may have gotten a ring. I just really can't. Hmm. I just don't know anything else this could be. As you, you know, if you read this, give me a suggestion. Is this a ring? You know, uh, you know, is it? It's it's iron. You know, 
Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just I'll just listen to the uh, the suggestions of uh, the subscribers and the people who read this. If they think it's a ring, let me know. And if it's if you believe it's a ring, because I'm bending a little bit to that direction, then I will just simply uh, I'll simply classify it as another ring and not in my silver silver category at all, of course. Anyways, uh, and while I was looking for it, I found these high signals in that same area where I was pulling the pull tabs. So I had a, got a little clad out of that area. Clad I wasn't really looking for. Uh, you know, I wasn't really going to record this at all. But, you know, I got enough clad to make it recordable considering the length of time I did and then the maybe ring I got. So that's what I got. Now, my criteria, and I think anybody's criteria for doing this must be an indication that the area you got is prime territory. Now these pull taps, you know, some of these pull taps are 70 era, etc. And this, and so I don't, this, this park has been there a while and you've got a, and you've got a lot of people coming to see their kids play or you know, you know, or coming to see adults play. I also see them out there because this is a park, this isn't a school grounds. So, uh, you know, that could be years of accumulation of junk and could be a ring or two left in there. So I'm going to keep going at it. So I'll be forming pull taps a little while longer and we'll see how that turns out. I got another maybe ring and I've got a couple of quarters, dime and nickel, and looks like uh, three copper pennies and two crusty zincs. So not a bad not a bad run in any case i'll be back at it again obviously i'll be looking for that next ring so you just gotta guys gotta keep looking because i will keep on working and keep on trying to find the next uh, the next ring or the next whatever it happens to be anyway this is texas tiger Diggs, and i will talk to you later